So my name is Lena Groger. Um, I am a journalist at ProPublica, which is an investigative newsroom in New York City. And I'm here um, at this conference uh, to basically try to get a lot of people interested in data and code. Um, I think the first tool I ever, ever learned was Google Fusion Tables, uh, which um, had made some sort of population um, kind of distribution map or something. But that really got me hooked, and that was really cool. And also, I don't think you need uh, you don't need that much code to get started. A lot of really cool interactives um, and journalistic projects can be done with just a couple of lines of code, a couple of lines of uh, JavaScript and some HTML and CSS. So when people like to ask like, oh, like what, what's the best programming language to learn? Um, and I think it really depends on what you want to do. So I think there are a lot of online resources um, and uh, so even Googling around like introduction to HTML, J CSS, JavaScript, I think the Code Academy, those sorts of things are a lot of online tutorials, lynda.com. Um, there are a lot of resources for people. I think the sort of secret weapon of, uh, of any programmer is being really good at searching uh, using Google. So I think regardless uh, of how experienced you are as a programmer, um, there's always gonna be things you don't know and Basically, then the best way to get to an answer is to Google for it and to, to look up that way. So I think having particular projects to learn on is much more effective than just sort of learning about programming in the abstract. I think regardless of whether you are making things for your workplace, um, if you're interested in learning to code and you're interested in journalistic projects, then find time outside of work, on the weekends, whatever, um, whatever time you have to do those, those projects um, and put them someplace, somewhere online, and then share them with people. And I think once um, your employer or other employers see um, the sort of effort that you're making and the learning that you're doing and the enthusiasm that you bring, um, they'll probably be a lot more excited and probably want to get in on this, whatever it is. I think for a lot of people, um, especially who are either in newsrooms where they're the only people or only person, right, who wants to code or um, the only person interested in, in data projects, it can be sort of intimidating. Um, so I would definitely recommend getting involved with the communities um, that are out there that are uh, that are really active in this intersection of technology and journalism. So there are a lot of communities that can be local too. It doesn't have to be just within your newsroom, um, but it can be other kind of like-minded people and having a partner in crime on this stuff can be really fun and really helpful.